Alright guys, welcome to another video. This video I want to talk about how to stay positive and how to have a healthy mindset moving forward in whatever you do, whether it's in uni, school, work, gym, life, everything. I just want to sh share five tips with you guys on how to stay positive. Alright, tip number one to how to stay positive I feel like is convince yourself on whatever you're doing is a good thing. No matter what it is, other than, you know, like the bad stuff like drugs or, yeah. So from what I mean by that is, convince yourself that in five years, one year, whatever it is, that you, you're, not, you're gonna make sure you're not in the same position as what you are now. Whether, see, for me, I'm a factory worker by day, I'm a bartender by night, and when I have time, I do my unis. And with that being said, you know, I I always try to live positive. Yeah. With that being said, I try to live positively. Where you know, I don't like I do all this, and sometimes it does get hard. But I do say, oh, in five years, I won't be in the same position. I know I won't be. I wouldn't have to work as hard as I do now to be at that same position. Whereas uh, what I'm trying to say is, is that just because you're at a position of your life now doesn't mean you'll always be there you know like i'm i'm gonna be real i don't think i can work two jobs and study for the rest of my life it's just but i feel like i need to set this platform up now so it, later on in life i can use it to my advantage to be where i want to be uh, tip number two will be to block negativity and what i mean by that is Whatever anyone says, take it on the chin. Please take it on the chin. Because I'm telling you now, whatever they say, I've been called racist words, I've been called every name in the book, basically. And from what I've taken from it, is that just, you know, you wake up tomorrow and you'll forget about it. It's a new day, new thing, whatever. Just what I'm trying to promote. Just, if someone says anything negative to you, you know, you'll wake up tomorrow and not even remember it, or you won't. By tomorrow, you, sh you wouldn't really care. You know, you got a life to live. You know, you got no business worrying about what someone said to you two weeks ago. Does it really bother you? I mean, does it really like matter after two weeks? You know, you'll forget about it. Trust me, guys. Negativity. It's in, in this world where we live in social media with Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. There's always going to be hate, guys. Just, you know, just take it on the chin. You'll wake up tomorrow and you won't even remember it. Trust me. Uh, tip number three, I feel like, is a very important tip that I learned maybe a year ago. is to show compassion to your enemies. You know, show compassion to where they don't know what they're doing is wrong. You know, they're just... Whatever comes out of their mouth is what they'll say. Like, hey... You, you look a bit too big, why don't you just stop or, you know, you're... They'll, they'll, they'll just say something like negative or something to just bring you down. I've learned is to show them compassion because they don't know what they're doing wrong. Is wrong, I should say. Is that they're just... That's just how they'll probably brought up or is that... They, they're trying to tell you in a way where they don't mean it to hurt you is what you get a lot these days so just show them compassion they don't know what they're doing wrong just like my last tip just take it on the chin you won't remember it so yeah all right tip number four is is this one's a different one it's just to visualize you know visualize where you want to be in life not where you feel like you are now you know don't look at someone else and be like oh he must be lucky because he has this, he has that. Don't worry about that because you're trying to get to his position, you know. Whereas there's always a vicious cycle to where, you know, just say a middle class person looks at a millionaire and is like, man, I would kill for that life, you know. But that millionaire is looking at a billionaire and saying, man, I wish I had his life, you know. It doesn't matter how much money you have, we all get, we all have problems, you know. So just try not to focus on people that are more successful than you because I feel like the best way 
to know where you're at is to say what you have and what you don't have, you know? Like, for me, I don't have a lot, but I'm all right with that only because, you know, I have a car. I'm talking to you in my car, and this car, a lot of people are still catching the bus where I live, and, you know, I'm blessed to have a loving father, a loving little brother, and I'm blessed to have a roof over my head. I got these clothes on. This is a brand name I got for my birthday, but at least I know my family was able to afford something that was brand and give it to me, you know? So just be appreciative of what we have. And I feel like that's the best way to stay positive is to say to yourself what you have instead of what you don't have, because what you have is, it went, the things I just said now, a lot of people don't have at all. There's people, you know, that probably right now, as I speak, I should, um, what do you call it? They're hungry. Like they haven't eaten since what well, last night. Like they have to stay hungry. They can only eat once a day. So yeah, just try to have that mindset to where you want to um, remember what you have instead of what you don't have. You know, I still have. You know, like like I said, the car. I got a roof over my head. I'm wearing nice clothes. You know, to me, that is enough. So just make sure that you have. Like, you do have goals, but don't try to think about, oh, when am I going to get this, when am I going to get that? Don't put a timeline on it, because everyone gets um, things at different times, you know? There's people who get their degree at 33, where someone gets it at 23. You know, there's people who get houses at 18, and some people get their first house at 48. You know, it's just how it is. But just make sure, stay calm. It's, it's Life's a marathon. When you're 50... You're only halfway through your life. You still got another 50 years to live. So just take it time. It's an endurance test. And yeah, that, that'll be my tip for this one. My last tip will be to smile. Like, my last tip will be to smile. That's probably the best tip out of this whole five I've given you. Smile is the best because if someone wants to say anything hurtful or negative to you, just smile. That would destroy them because how, they would think, how can I say something like this to them? Or how can someone else say something to them? And they just look at you and smile. You know, smile is the best medicine. It's the best counterattack to anything. Just smile, laugh, go on with your life. Because whatever they're saying about you, it's not about you it's more about them and how they are as a person and how they wish like if someone was to say something like how I'm doing YouTube you know if someone was to say something behind my back I would just smile laugh move on because they're probably thinking man I wish I had that confidence to do what he's doing or anything like that alright guys alright guys this was gonna conclude another video thank you for watching Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And also, if you guys can comment uh, any video ideas, if you want to see something, just let me know, and I'm I'm down for any uh, any suggestions, anything like that. Just yeah, just let me know.